Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We're on September 3rd, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, looking at space weather, earthquakes, and world weather, disaster alerts. Starting out here, looking at the sun, as we have a pretty quiet Earth-facing sun right now, pretty diminished equatorial uh, coronal hole, as well, we have that plasma filament hanging around the fiery region in the northern parts. Gonna be watching that in the coming hours, but it's not Earth facing anyway. So, not much to talk about for the sun today. We did already get our space weather that was incoming from the coronal mass ejection the other day. And it doesn't look like there is any incoming activity except for the southwestern region here. Looking at 304 angstroms where we can see the plasma, the plasma reaching far away from the sun. Huge uh, plasma rope there, northwestern region. Again, not much to talk about pretty quiet sun right now. And there is definitely, I mean, we've seen proof in this last week, the correlation between space weather and earthquakes, as we've seen things ramp up with that little bit of space weather activity where we saw our solar winds increase to a maximum of 621 kilometers per second. They were hitting us the other day and brought our KP index to a level three. And then look at the Schumann resonance for today. I've never seen it like this. Flatlined. Flatlined since yesterday. A very low power of two. Has anybody else seen the Schumann resonance like this before? I've only been following it for about a year now, so maybe two years. Let's get to earthquakes here. Most recently here in the Tonga region, a 4.8 at a 278 kilometer depth. And this has been an active region today and as well yesterday. 4.9 reported. 4.3 Fiji Islands. 505 kilometer depth. That's pretty deep. As well, Vanuatu, 5.0 at a 10 kilometer depth. So watch for a larger, shallower earthquake to follow after all this action here, moving westward into Papua New Guinea, 5.4, 5.2 in Indonesia. And then today, 5.3 reported in Bankulu, Indonesia. And that's right around Krakatoa, South Japan region, 4.7 and North Japan 4.9 as well 3.9 here Alaska and then across the North American plate it's been pretty active as well a pretty rare and strange earthquake here reported 3.8 they're saying here in Alabama the first report came out it was in Florida obviously people in Florida are feeling that earthquake as well 4.2 there Mexico 3.3 here and as well North Mexico San Fran Valley 3.5 moving into California and as well 2.7 Montana Nevada ringing off as well stay aware and prepared just have a plan everybody looking here central regions South America as well Dominican Republic still a lot of minor earthquakes going off. A lot of aftershocks still in Chile. Quiet across the African plate and up into Eurasia. Let's have a look at the last seven days. And it's been active across the world. And a lot of deep earthquakes recently. Not much release from that large 7.0 in Chile. But there's been a lot of action recently here. Western Ring of Fire. And as well in this warned region, South American plate with Antarctic plate, I warned last week, watch for an uptick in seismicity as that place has been bombarded 
by strong highs and very big low pressure systems. We'll get into that in a five day forecast coming up. Let's get to the disaster alert center, Pacific disaster center. Look at the most recent volcanoes being updated. Dokono in Indonesia, Suwis and Ajima in Japan. A lot of fires being reported, California and as well South America. Russia, uh, Reventador in Ecuador. Sangay in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico. So that's about nine volcanoes being updated today. Look for the volcanic activity report coming tonight. We're going to run down the 44 volcanoes around the world that are erupting right now. Observing here, forecasted models of Typhoon Haishan and as well Typhoon Maysak, who's heading straight into Russia very interesting path indeed as well we have tropical storm Nana who is heading west off the Mexico coastline watch for big storms on the coastline tonight from that as well we're observing in the Atlantic Ocean a couple areas of interest off the coast of Africa as well tropical depression Omar who's heading out into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and most likely Europe Western Europe in the long range forecast. But watching here off the coast of Africa it could be a quite sizable tropical depression forming here later in the week. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Medio Mike, starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta, as we might want to get our uh, extra layers out and ready for a very cool fall season. In the long range, in the five day forecast here, we do have snow in the foothills forecasted. And looking there, you can see there is a lot of blue heading down from the north. A big polar push early. Polar push set to cool things down drastically in the west and eventually in the east. But looking here, five day forecast, gonna be getting some rain from Sunday into Monday, and then cool temperatures, single digits for Calgary, and even cooler northward. But you can see there is a lot of white stuff coming in this forecast. Polar push coming through. Eastward, pretty big storm set to hit the Atlantic provinces and as well Quebec in the coming days. As well, a Colorado low developing later in the week, which is going to bring a lot of snow as far south as Colorado, maybe even Albuquerque, New Mexico. And then eventually things will be cooling off in the east. And here are the two areas of interest that I've been that I will be watching. It looks like the second one could head northward. Strong high pressure ridge still hanging out the Atlantic, but it looks like it's being pushed north by a strong tropical storm, Omar. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system affecting northeastern parts of Europe. More central, watch for a line of moisture heading from Italy up into Finland. Africa, daily evaporation rains, heavier region heavier amounts towards Nigeria, coastal regions, as well watching for cool temperatures, Cape Town as low pressure system leaves there, and cooler temperatures are brought from the Antarctic, pretty big low pressure systems affecting the southern hemisphere right now, watch towards the end of the video for that. Also watching an area of interest here, possible cyclone developing in the Indian Ocean, Heading westward, heavy rains through the Philippines and as well the South China through Nepal region, still dealing with monsoon. And then we have tropical or typhoon Haishan, who will be heading straight across South Japan and as well South and North Korea. So heads up Korea as you are about to receive your second typhoon in less than a week. Overlooking Australia, cool temperatures across southeastern parts, high pressure ridge hanging out there, 
and as well southwestern parts. But it looks like spring is moving in, parts of the north. And just look at the size of this low pressure system south of Australia. It is literally the size of Australia. And I talked about this last week. Southern Hemisphere is about to go beast mode as it tries to transition the Northern Hemisphere into winter. Overlooking Southern, uh, South America, very dry and warm. Parts of Argentina, very cool and as well, lots of moisture. Kind of a rain train moving in and they've, they've had tons of snow as well. Watch for drastic changes coming soon. We leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern and noted areas. And as well, our very cool temperatures, Southern Hemisphere and the North. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate the love and the likes and the comments. So please do it all. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye. Don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.